Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So here we have a shape. So the diagram shows a rectangle A, B, C, D. Okay, the point A is given to you by 0, 2, and the point C is 12, 14, right here. Now, the diagonal B, D is in the same direction as the x-axis. Okay, same direction. Great to know. It is horizontal. Right. Now, part 1. Explain why the y value of D is 6. Why the y value of D is 6. So, let's see. Why is that? So, here we have x we don't know is 6. So, how do we find D? Where is D? BD is a diagonal from this point. Mm, let me see. This one, this one. Okay, so here we have the point is. Right? Now, what are the properties of a, uh, let's say, um, how you call this? A rectangle. We understand that these two sides are of equal length. Uh, and the direction have to be the same for those two as well. That's why we can we can use those factors and also this information here that we have just saw is that this diagonal here is a horizontal line. It means that on this line the value of y have to be the same. So what can we use here? So there's many things. So let's also look at this. We understand that if you were to join the line AC, we'll also have a diagonal. Now again, where they meet over here is what? Is the actually the midpoint of of AC. So what is that point? That would be the point. Pretty easy. This plus this divided by 2, that should be 6. And this plus this divided by 2 should be 6 as well. Because here, because of the midpoint of this, it is 6. You can write because uh, the midpoint of AC was found to be 6 and 6. And we know the line BD is a horizontal line, obviously the value here will be 6. That's the reason why. Now we have to, um, we, here we have the x value of d is h. Okay, this is h that we don't know. Uh, what else? Express the gradients of ad and cd in terms of h. So where's ad? ad is this one. So how do you find gradient? We have to use the formula, obviously. So that will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That should be 8 over h, because here it is h, right, the x value. Now cd, uh, same thing, uh, y2 minus y1, so 14 minus 6 over 12 minus h. That should be 14 here minus 6 should be the value of 8 over 12 minus h. Now for part 3, find the x value of d and b. Okay, so why did they ask us to find the gradients? Because we understand they are at 90 degrees to each other. And what that happens, we can form an equation, which is this over h multiplied by the other value have to give you minus 1. Because when you multiply the gradient of perpendicular lines, the value have to be minus 1. So let's see what did we get. We have to have 64. Then we can just cross multiply. That will become minus 1 minus h times 12 minus h. That will be 64 equal to minus 12h plus h squared. Send everything to one side, you will have h squared minus 12h minus 64 has to be 0. Factorize this times this. The, the, what can we use here? 64 is, is what? It is 64 divided by 4. That should be 16. So 16 times 4. 16 here times 4 here. To get minus 12, we have to have minus 16 plus 4. H can be 16 or H can be minus 4. But obviously, as you can see, H in us is on the positive x-axis. So this cannot be the value. So H can only be 16. Now, here we have this already. We have to find the x value for B as well. So how would you find for B? So pretty simple. Same kind of logic, I guess. Uh, because we have this point and we know this point as well, right? This is the distance. H was found to be 14. Distance from 6 go to 14 is what? 16, so 14 minus 6 will be 8. So from this, going back to this will be also 8. This is 8, this is 8. So going back will be 8 as well. 6 minus 8 should be the value of minus 2. Minus 2, 6. So B will be minus 2. Okay, so that's part three. And then we have to find the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D. So how would you find the area of rectangle? It's pretty easy. It's the width times the length. So you can use that to find that value. So step by step, 
Um, so how can we find this? So we can use a few formulas if you want to. How would you find this land? CD. Well, let's see. Oh, how can we do this easier? Mm, I guess that's the only way, right? We have to find the length and then multiply them to find the, the area of a rectangle because we know that area of rectangle is simply length times width. So we have to find the length and, th and times the width. So the length here is this one. It is the side 80. A is given to you by 0 minus 2. D was found to be 14.6. So what is the magnitude of AD? We use our formula, which is this minus this will be 14 and then square. This minus this will be 8 and then square. That should be 14 square plus 8 square should be root of 260. So this is root of 260. Now for this one, same thing. We have the value of A, which is 0 minus 2, and B was minus 2.6. So again, length of AB, that will be root of this minus this will be minus 2 squared, that should be 4, plus this minus this will be 8, then square will be 64. 64 plus 4 will be root of 68. So finally, for the area, will be root of 260 times root of 68. Let's see what do we get. Root of 68 times root of 260, that should be 132.966, so correct to 3 SF will be 133 units square for the area of the rectangle. So after reviewing, uh, I did realize I made a mistake over here. If you can see, I have H as 16, but I don't know why I wrote 14 here. So probably very, very silly mistake. So just correct this to be 16, and thus, this is 6, red 6, to go to 16 will be 10, which means this also have to be 10. From here to go to point B, so 6 minus 10 will be minus 4. The point B will be minus 4, 6, and not this line. So now from this point on, we have to correct everything else to find the area of the rectangle. So pretty easy, we place this uh, back here, that will be uh, 16. So first thing first, we will have 16 square. 16 square plus 8 square. That should be 330. 320. And for this one um, here, we just have to change this one to minus 4. That should be 4 square, right? So here we have this square should be 16 plus 64. Should be root 80. So just replace those two values here, 320 and root 80. Let's see what we have. So root 320 times root of 80, that will give you the value of 160. So finally, your area will be 160. You need square instead of this because of this silly mistake. So be careful and always double check your answers at the end.